Hello team, good day all. Welcome to our mainframe classes. So today we are going to discuss a very important concept that is utility. So let's start with today's topic. So let's start with DB2 utilities. So first we need to understand what is DB2 utility. So DB2 utilities help you to maintain data in your DB2 for GIS database. Generally you use a DB2 utility to perform the large scale operations across uh, one or more uh, table space like uh, for making a copy of your data recover the data load thousand or millions of data reorganize the data at that time we can use the db2 utility so generally we have uh, two types of utility one is the online utility and the second one is the standalone utility <coughs> So let's start with online utility. So online utility uh, run as a standard batch job or stored procedure and uh, stand a lot, uh, sorry, online utility uh, requires DB2 to be up and running state and uh, they do not uh, run under the control of terminal terminal monitor program that is TMP so online utility have their own attachment mechanism and it's a invoke the DB2 control facility service directly so through the online utility you can invoke DB2 online utilities uh, monitor control the online utility like that and the second we have the standalone utility so a standalone utility run as a bad job uh, that are independent of DB2 and it's run independently of DB2. So the way it run uh, utilities can use the JCL. So to invoke a standalone utility, you need the JCL. So what is JCL? JCL is the job control language. So previous uh, video, we already covered this topic. So through the to invoke the standalone utilities, you must use the JCL or bad job. So now you understand the requirement of online and uh, standalone utility. So in this slide, we just mentioned the requirement of online utility like uh, online utility requires DB to be up and it's active state and it's run as a bad job and uh, online utility requires the control statements so now we going to cover the online utility so in this slide we can mention uh, some online utilities like uh, load unload reorg run stat check data copy recovery and all like there is the huge list backup the system cat mint check data check index check log copy copy to copy recovery recovery pending merge copy modify recovery modify statics so there is the huge list of the online utility so in this video we are going to cover some online utilities like load unload reorg and all so starting with the load utility so load utility is used to load data from an external data set into a db2 tables so generally uh, using this load online utility to load one or more table or the table space the load utility load record into the tables and uh, built uh, or extend extends the indexes like that next we have the unload so unload utilities this is the online utility you already know like it's a copy of data from one or more source object to one or more bsm sequential data set in the external formats that means it is used to copy data from a db2 table to a external data set next we have the reorg so reorg utility is used to recreate a table space to improve access performance and reclaim or re-establish free space so reorg utility is very important like a also we have a reorg table space reorg index so when we uh, work in a reorg done at that time we can understand what is reorg table space reorg index and all like when we say reorg table space like it's a 
reorganize reorganize a table space partitions range of partitions like that next we have the run stat so run stat utility is used to generate the statistical information used by optimizer when determining an access path for an sql statement so this is the run stat utility so next we have a check data so check data utility is used to check the content of table space for a violation of integrity rule next we have a copy so copy online utility creates the copy of a certain object it generate the backup of copy of a table space so this copy is uh, we called as the image copy utility also image copy next we have a recover so recovered utility recovers the data to a current state or to a previous point in time or we called as a prior point in time so this uh, also this recovered a copy when applying any log record this uh, uh, recovered utility can also recover the data to the previous point in time by backing out committed work at that time we can use the recovered utility apart from that we also we have a recovered index rebuilt index uh, copy to copy check index check log so like there are another lots of utility are there so that's all for today's so thank you all uh, to watching this video if you have any doubt please mention in the comment box